Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and we have already got Plarium dropping the nerf hammer on Emic Trunkhart before he is even being released as a fusion into the official index in the game before anybody has him on their main account. He has been hit and is being adjusted so that he is not going to be able to function with some of these crazy clan boss compositions and things that we have seen happening. Hell Hades did an awesome video showcasing an insane damage potential wrap up video of kind of the comparisons before and post nerf and all of that. But I want to give you my take on it because I've had some people asking in comment sections my opinion on this and if it changes the amount of effort that you should be willing to go forward to finish the fusion and if it changes my opinion on the fusion event and him as a champion and all of that. So that's what we're going to talk about in this one. But okay, if you're a little bit out of the loop, what happened was is Emic has this A1 right here where it's going to increase the value of all shield buffs on this champion, but then also the second part, it's going to increase the value of any shield buffs on the ally with the lowest HP. Well, what was happening was people are going to be able to find a champion that does damage based on a shield, which right here, you've got a rare champion in the HP Corpulent Cadaver right here. And guess what he has here on the default? Attack one enemy and then going to inflict additional damage if he has a shield buff, but not just that. The damage is equal to 30% of the value of the shield. So you can kind of get this infinite loop of just insane synergy where you've got emic increasing the value of shield and then you've got corpulent cadaver on his default a1 every single turn absolutely smacking harder and harder and harder into the millions into the billions as we keep scaling these percentages off of each other so then we had plarium come out and say hey hey okay pals there will be a slight adjustment to how emic trunk cards a1 works that's the ability that's going to increase shield on the ally with the lowest hp at fixing how he increases the value of the shield the percentage will remain the same he'll be able to increase the value by 25 percent however there will be a 10k cap thus meaning he'll be able to increase the value of the shield by 25 percent but it cannot be more than 10k at a time so yeah it doesn't say it yet on the test server right here it doesn't say up to a maximum of 10k but it will once the fusion actually launches i bet they'll get that tooltip updated in the game and it will reflect that now i saw in hell hades video that he talked about how what they should have done is address corpulent cadaver and the abilities in the game that scale infinitely based on a shield that would have been the better route to go i would have left emic trunk heart alone here on the a1 and i just would have addressed the things around that that synergize in an overpowered way i mean i do kind of agree that plarium i mean if you've got champions hitting for billions of damage probably needs to get adjusted a little bit i understand where they're coming from in that regard but what they should have done is just went about adjusting the corpulent cadaver and any champion that has an infinite scaling ability like this based on the value of shield instead of nerfing emic trunk heart before he even comes out i think him increasing the shield is perfectly fine we've got all sorts of mechanics in raid where you can have a crazy amount of shield that's not the issue the issue is when you're hitting for billions of damage because of your damage infinitely scaling with shield but then the second part of this video would be do i think this changes my opinion on emic and if you should try or not try to do the fusion i don't think it does personally i think that was a really cool synergy and it did some really crazy insane things and was a lot of fun but like it, it is a hit to the a1 i mean it, having the max of 10k it is gonna hurt but i think a lot of the utility he brings is in his kit i mean having a passive that could increase the cooldown of a random skill on the attacker by two turns it's not even one and this thing doesn't have a cooldown or anything like it's just passive value i think the a1 getting a little bit worse doesn't really affect his overall role within the game he's still going to be a very very solid champion with just the a2 and the a3 and the passive and the aura and the base stats none of that really got adjusted it's just some of these like over the top amazing hard hitting shield damaging mechanics and i guess if we're steel manning for polarium <laughs> they would probably say something like this is the whole reason we have a test server is so that people can dive in and test things and see what mechanics are broken so that we don't have that making it to the live game and we can swoop in and adjust things to make the game function optimally before a fusion starts if i was like a pr person for plarium i would probably say something like that 
but it is unfortunate to see a super hyped up void legendary get nerfed so like i said i wish they would have gone the route of adjusting the other things that were broken because of the a1 instead of hurting the value of mx a1 but yeah like i said in summary he's still a really solid champion he's going to be a great addition to most of the accounts out there and for those of you that maybe don't have a helicath or access to some of these unkillable compositions and stuff the say three is going to possibly unlock some of that for you on your account because you get that unkillable on all allies for two turns and you also get all the other utility that he brings as a champion to help you enable some of the fun teams and compositions plus not only that but we almost never get a void legendary as a fusion or featured event i think it's like probably once a year on average i mean i think i think torment was the first one that did torment the cold the uh the dwarf and woof that was crazy if you weren't playing raid back then it was crazy when they had the fusion for torment torment's been nerfed like four times five times maybe uh been adjusted he was absolutely ridiculous when he came out as a fusion but they've only done maybe two or three void champions as an actual event or fusion so i still think he's going to be definitely highly valuable and something that people are going to want to complete hopefully the events are reasonable we haven't seen the calendar come out yet as soon as that comes out we're going to need to react to it hopefully there's not like four summon rushes and two champion chases or something hopefully we won't have to pull hundreds of shards to try and get this guy but it is going to be an interesting week for sure as we see these mechanics changing and the fusion going live here in a couple days so yeah that is my thoughts and it would be awesome to hear your thoughts down below if you'd like to share in the comment section your opinion on the changes here on epic trunk heart before the fusion but i appreciate all of you and i will see you soon in the next video thanks for watching peace